Okay, today I'm doing my pickup out of the back of my car because my life is annoying. There's like no parking where I live. So, um, I'm parked in the freaking bus stop because I got to load the car up for tomorrow. But let me go through it quick and uh, we'll see if it works. I'm just going to mix it up by what's, what's uh, in front of me. Um, I got a bunch of PS1 games for a buck each, but I got a, a, a GameCube PS2, I'm sorry, uh, Street 2, NHL Street 2, and I got a, a, an NFL Street, I'm all aggravated, that's why I'm like messing up and whatever. Uh, I got an NFL Street GameCube, two bucks a piece. I just sold uh, two for like 20 something bucks on a Amazon or eBay or one of those, and I got a Shrek the Third uh, DVD for a dollar. Paid five bucks for this, this would have been a great, awesome find. Um, I should have known better because, you know, I figured something's got to be wrong with it. Uh, can you see, can you see that? There's a crack in it right there on the sword. So there must be a wire in here holding it together. If this were pristine and whatever, and then there might be something going on with the horn, but that didn't bother me so much as this. Uh, this is the kind of thing that I ha if I want big money, I have to sell it on eBay. It's probably like, on eBay it would be anywhere from one to two hundred dollars. With the condition, it might still be sellable for a lot. At the flea market, though, everybody's going to bust my whatevers and not want to give me anything for it. Um, this company, Nyform, a souvenir, they're famous. Um, they're out of Norway. They're well known for the trolls that they make. So this is actually a very large piece. It's a, I would say it's about maybe 18 to 24 inches tall. Let's see, 8, 16. I'd say about 20 inches tall, so whatever. Uh, that's that, but unfortunately it's got that problem, so I don't know what I'm going to get for it. Like I said, I got a bunch more PS1 games, but these are uh, convenient. I don't know what my uh, wife paid for jewelry, but I believe these are Swarovski earrings. Very nice, right? Uh, she bought this cufflink set for, uh, I was there, so she bought this cufflink set for, um, uh, there it is, like $3. She can probably put that on, on uh, eBay or something. Here's a nice necklace she got, a uh, pendant necklace with dangling charms. Don't know what she paid. Uh, here's a pen. You know what? She paid $7 for this and all of this stuff, all right? So a part of the $7 was this. That's got a big stone in the middle. A little bit of it's flaking off or it needs to be cleaned. This is a Coro. This is silver. It says uh, silver or sterling or something like that. These are uh, native design, uh, sterling. And uh, these are also look to be... Mexican or native design they are also sterling uh, sorry well you know what maybe you prefer I'm going quick but one of the reasons I'm going quick today is uh, because of my stupid parking situation and how I have to load the car anyway um, like I said today I would have found some really great stuff like that would have been great but it has problems and here's another thing that I, that I found today that would have been like really good I actually paid ten dollars for this and I know it's good because I just sold a piece by this artist his name's uh, Licio Zanetti and it's signed Zanetti L. You can probably see that. It's, it's very clear. Um, it's, it's a whale. These sell for 50 to about 100 bucks on eBay. So I was fine. Yeah, 10 bucks, no problem. But then look, got that right there. So that's upsetting to me. That's another thing that now I'm probably I won't be able to sell at all. But, and that was at the same house. I only bought three things. I spent $17. I got this, this. That's probably a no sale for me. Uh, this I can probably get something for. Or maybe, Daryl, if you want to list it online, let me know. Because uh, the sword is fa uh, fragile, but you could probably still get like maybe a hundred. Because that's the kind of damage that someone could look past because it's not noticeable. Maybe you can get a hundred or so for it. Just let me know. Otherwise, I'll just take it to a flea market and I'll flip it. Um, I don't have time to deal with stuff like that. This is a Nibro, Nibro Sweden. Uh, I guess paperweight. Uh, it's got a nude on a stone. Um, sitting there, thinking about stuff. Or looking at something, I don't know you know whatever she's doing she's doing it this I knew it was like 30 to 40 or so on I say on eBay at a flea market I'll try and get like 15 if I can get 15 it pays for the stuff and then maybe if I make some money other stuff I'll be fine um, what this assort assortment of like cars from the movies I guess and stuff. but these are only a dollar for all of them so I sell these for like a dollar each and or less you know um, all right let me go through some of the PS ones that I got these are all a dollar out of sale so for a dollar, eh, they're not the greatest titles, but whatever. Team Rocket Rescue, Powerboat Racing, Grand Tour, Ra Grand Tour Racing, Spider-Man. It's a little scuffed up, but it's whatever. Uh, Nuclear Strike, Super Shot Soccer, NHL Rock to the Rink. Um, this Simpsons Road Rage game was $2. 
And then uh, these were also a dollar. Frogger, SimCity 2000, Hercules, Land Before Time, Army Men Air Attack, probably one of the more valuable games. Tony Hawk Pro Skater, RC Revenge, Cool Borders 4, Dukes of Hazard. I'm probably going to make a lot with these, or, but I'm going to take them to the convention and maybe people want to buy them as Philip. Dave Mirror, Croc. That, that might be the most valuable game. Lilo and Stitch, Rugrats, A Bug's Life, and Tonker Super Station. Uh, this glass vase, tall, looks to be about like two feet tall or, or something like that. I paid three dollars for. Uh, continuing on, and boy, I'm going pretty damn fast today. Um, let's see what's in here. I'll do that next. All right. Oh, did I? Yeah, I already did that. Here's a nice painting. It's got crazing, whatever. It's signed by some guy named Hiro. Uh, and that's H-I-R-O. I guess he's Japanese, you know. But it's a nice, it looks like, it looks like it's a New York uh, type cityscape. And it's done in like an impressionist style. I think it's really nice. It was 10 bucks. This guy had like a bunch of great unusual stuff out of sale. He even had a bronze that the arms broke off and he soldered them back on. And he said, man, if the, if the arms were, were good on that, it would have been worth like a fortune. And he's right, it would have been. But as is, it's only worth what somebody who's willing to deal with something that's damaged is willing to pay. Um, these were also a dollar a piece at another sale. Test Drive Off-Road, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3. Oh, this is actually software. All right, I'll give that to you, Dar. Gran Turismo and Breakout. And this would have been the best game, I believe. But it's empty, so I just took it for the case, and I gave the lady $3, which is fine with me. All right, continuing on. You know, the case and the, and the manual, if I ever find it. Um, then I bought some CDs. And another yard sale. They were, they were a, a buck a piece, I think. Yeah, I think they were a buck a piece. Dino, uh, very best Randy Travis, uh, Alabama Super Hits, Judge Number 1, Glenn Campbell, Patsy Cline, Cheryl Clough. Crow, uh, Reba, Loretta Lynn, Frank Sinatra, Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby. Is this a Christmas? I hate fucking buying Christmas. That's why I was, I went to a lot of sales today and there was just, uh, just a bunch of BS. There was hardly anything good to get today. As you can see, like I, didn't even, I only spent like, what, a hundred bucks? That's barely anything. I used to spend like, um, three, five, seven hundred. DVDs. Uh, I'm only buying DVDs for conventions now, and I'm buying like movies that everybody goes like, "Oh, that's a classic. We gotta see it." Uh, Rain Man, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Avatar. Let me do it this way. It's gonna fall. Avatar. Um, these were a dollar a piece, so I did that thing where you take twelve and you go, "I have twelve. Is ten dollars okay?" And they were like, "Yeah, sure, no problem." Harry Potter, Dirty Dancing. Greece. Uh, I'm rushing to. I got so much crap to do. It's annoying. And then uh, maybe I'll go to the Nava meeting later. I, I'll, I, I'll let you know if I do. I'll post a video. Home Alone, Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings. Oh, there's another one here. <sighs> Harry Potter. These are like I said. I'll take these to conventions. I'll tell people four dollars, three for ten. Uh, the last thing I bought was some. Well, it wasn't the last thing, but the last thing I have to show that I bought, and believe me, I was I was going all over the place. I just, there wasn't just, I, there was nothing. It was like one of those days. I didn't get an early start. People were telling me they did have games, but I didn't get them. Elton John, these were a dollar a piece. Bad company. For a dollar, this one I paid three dollars for. It's Frankie Valley, but it's sealed. It was never open. So that one I'm probably just going to give to you, Daryl. You know, Rod Stewart. The covers on some of these are a little beat, but the records were really clean. Three Dog Night, Harmony, Kinks, Reservation, Rod Stewart, and who, by the numbers, oh, sorry, uh, Richard Pryor, that N-word's crazy, and uh, that, that's the funny thing when you say N-word, everybody knows what you're saying, so it's like, heesh. Joe Cocker, I Can Stand a Little Rain. See, beat cover. But the record's nice and clean. Anyway, that's everything I got today, Saturday. Tomorrow I'm going to be in Clifton, Jubilee, if you want to come see me or buy something from me. I don't think AJ's going to be there. He said he wasn't going to be there uh, like, to me yesterday. So it's just going to be me and my lovely wife. Um, I'll have my normal stuff. Uh, also, what, 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 oh, uh, quick shout-outs to all my friends. And as uh, AJ, Video Gamer Daryl, Thrift Hunter, uh, Angry Steve, uh... The Derek the Redneck, uh, Steve the whatever, Gambler, 
not the clown. Uh, cool tracks. Yeah, everybody. Uh, I'd love to love shout outs to everybody. That's it for me. I'm out of here. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll get some stuff at the flea market.